Have you ever pondered upon the role of music in the captivating world of film? A question that might seem trivial at first, but the moment you delve into the depth of it, you realize its profound significance. In the world of cinema, music is not just an auditory experience, it's an integral part of storytelling. It's a symphony that orchestrates the rhythm of the narrative, painting the canvas of our emotions with varying hues. Music, my friends, is the unseen character in the narrative, the one that whispers into our ears, the one that touches our hearts, making us laugh, cry, fear and hope. Let's take a step back and ponder upon the concept of film scoring. It is the art of creating musical compositions specifically for films, these compositions are not just random melodies, they are meticulously crafted symphonies that complement the narrative, the characters, the setting and the overall mood of the film. Imagine a scene where the protagonist is tiptoeing around a dark room, the silence is deafening, suddenly a soft, eerie melody starts playing in the backdrop. Doesn't it make your heart race a tad bit faster? That's the power of film scoring. The importance of film scoring cannot be overstated. It has the power to transform a simple scene into an unforgettable moment. It can turn a two-dimensional image into a three-dimensional experience. It can make our hearts race, our eyes well up and our souls dance. So what would a film be without music? It would be like a beautifully written book with no punctuation. The words might be there, but the rhythm, the pauses, the emphasis would be lost. It would be like a painting with no colors, a dance with no rhythm, a story with no emotion. Indeed, a film without music is like a body without a soul. To understand this indispensable relationship, we must travel back in time to the genesis of film scoring. In the early days of cinema, films were silent. There was no dialogue, no sound effects, not even a whisper of music. The story was told purely through visuals and the occasional intertitle, but as compelling as the images were, something was missing, something that would add depth and soul to the visual spectacle, that something was music. The first solution was live music. Musicians were hired to perform in the theatre, providing a live soundtrack to the visual feast. This could range from a lone pianist to a small orchestra, their music filling the silence and bringing the film to life. Yet, this practice was not without its flaws. The musicians, after all, were improvising and the quality of the music was as variable as the musicians themselves. Then came a game-changing innovation, orchestral accompaniment. Instead of relying on improvisation, music was composed and orchestrated specifically for the film. The music was no longer a separate entity, but an integral part of the film itself. It could highlight the emotional peaks and valleys, accentuate the tension, and even foreshadow events. This was the beginning of what we now know as the film score. The first original film scores were, in a word, transformative. They took the film from a silent spectacle to a complete sensory experience. One of the earliest examples is the score for The Assassination of the Duke of Guise in 1908. Composed by Saint-Saëns, it was a milestone, setting a precedent for the countless film scores that would follow. And so, the silent film was silent no more. Music had found its place in cinema, a place it would never relinquish. It added a new dimension to storytelling, allowing filmmakers to communicate with their audiences on an even deeper level. Thus began the marriage of music and film, a union that would revolutionize the cinematic experience. As cinema evolved, so did its musical companion, shaping and being shaped by the narrative. From the early days of silent films, music has been a constant companion to cinema, adding depth and emotion to the visual spectacle. The golden age of Hollywood in the 30s and 40s saw the rise of the orchestral film score. Composers like Max Steiner and Bernard Herrmann crafted lush, symphonic scores that became as iconic as the films they accompanied. But as the 50s dawned, a new sound began to emerge. The rise of electronic music brought a different tone to film scores. Suddenly, the lush strings and brass of the orchestra were being replaced by the eerie whirs and hums of the synthesizer. This created a new soundscape for cinema, one that was more in tune with the technological advancements of the time. As we moved into the latter half of the 20th century, the influence of world music began to be felt in film scores. 
Composers started incorporating elements from African, Asian and Latin American music into their work. This not only added a new dimension to the music, but also enriched the storytelling by bringing a global perspective to the narrative. And then came the age of the blockbuster. In the late 70s and 80s, composers like John Williams and Hans Zimmer redefined what a film score could be. Their work was grand and epic, matching the scale of the movies they were scoring. They brought back the orchestral sound, but with a modern twist. Today, film music is as diverse as the films themselves, from the minimalist scores of Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, to the eclectic soundtracks curated by Quentin Tarantino, to the haunting melodies of Alexandra Desplat, film music continues to evolve and adapt, reflecting the changing trends in cinema. From symphonic melodies to synthesized beats, film music has mirrored the changing face of cinema. As we stand in the present day, film scoring has emerged as an art form in its own right. In this era, film scoring has become an intricate tapestry of sound that can evoke emotions, establish atmosphere and accentuate storytelling. Current trends in film scoring have seen a shift towards a more eclectic mix of sounds. From the traditional orchestral scores to the experimental electronic sounds, film music today is a melting pot of diverse musical styles. One of the key elements of modern film scoring is the use of themes and motifs. These are recurring musical ideas that are associated with characters, emotions or events in the film. When you hear the ominous notes of a villain's theme or the tender melody of a love theme, you are experiencing the power of these motifs. Themes and motifs serve as the musical DNA of a film, weaving their way through the narrative and binding the cinematic experience together. They have the power to evoke a sense of familiarity, anticipation or dread, adding another layer to the storytelling process. But what is film music without its maestros? Composers like Hans Zimmer, John Williams and Alexander Desplat, to name a few, have left an indelible mark on the industry. Their innovative use of sound and their ability to create memorable themes have shaped the way we experience films today. Zimmer's experimental approach, Williams' symphonic might, Desplat's delicate balance of subtlety and grandeur, all contribute to the rich tapestry of film music. Their compositions have become synonymous with the films they score, and their influence continues to reverberate throughout the industry. In the end, the role of music in storytelling cannot be overstated. It can subtly guide our emotions, heighten our senses and draw us deeper into the narrative. It can whisper secrets in our ears, echo the heartbeats of characters and underscore the gravity of a moment. Today, film music is not just an accompaniment, but a voice that speaks the unspoken, feels the unfelt and tells the untold. So. What does the future hold for the symphony of cinema? As we delve into the final chapter of our journey, we can't help but wonder about the myriad possibilities that lie ahead for film scoring. Imagine a world where technology and creativity intertwine, creating a symphony of sounds yet unheard of. A world where the orchestra is not just limited to the stage, but extends to the virtual realm. Can you envision the influence of artificial intelligence in composing music? or perhaps the use of virtual reality in experiencing a film score. The future of film scoring is like an unwritten symphony, waiting for its first note to be played. As we stand at the cusp of this exciting frontier, one thing remains certain. No matter the advancements, the heart of film scoring will always be the emotive power of music. As we continue to push the boundaries of storytelling, the music will play on adding depth, dimension and drama to the cinematic canvas.